What's up, fellow travelers? Hey, it's your travel angel and welcome back to Angel's Video Diary. And my channel is all about positive travel experiences plus my personal style. Edward, can you guess how many steps are there in front of the museum? It's actually a real workout. And I can't believe we walked all the way out there. We're now heading to Independence Hall. Here are things to do in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Let's go. So we are heading to Philadelphia Museum of Art. Uh, we actually pass by the museum all the time and I'm just stoked to see it up close. So see you in a while. Hello, ready to explore. So we're just walking to the art museum. It's not too far from where we live. We are almost there. I can see the building from here already. And I'm excited. So we finally made it. We're here at uh, the Philadelphia Museum of Art. As you can see, the steps behind me, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me just show it to you right now. That's the rocky steps. So we're gonna go closer, all right? Let's go. Edward, can you guess how many steps are there in front of the museum? Um, is it 50, 60, 70, higher, By the lower? looks of it, about 100. 100. Maybe 200. 200? Oh my god. <laughs> 200 steps. Okay. Do you want to know the answer? What's the answer? The answer is... Okay, now it's your turn to guess. The answer is 72 steps. 72? Yep. There that was you go. close. There that was you close. Go. About 100, 200. There that was close. Go. Oh, yeah. You were very close, Edward. All right, so I just have a question. Can you guys run up the steps? I'll try. <laughs> run. <laughs> and we, and made, we made it! it. Yeah! <laughs> Do you feel like Rocky now? <laughs> Kinda. There's like a sense of accomplishment, right, Vivi? Yes. Right. Now, I want to talk more about our adventure at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. So, it looks like there's an entrance fee if you want to go inside the museum. And FYI, for those 18 and under, you're always free to go inside the museum. Yep. So entrance is from $14 to $25 and more information about ticket rates in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Here's a pro tip. On the first Sunday of the month and every Friday night, they do the pay whatever amount you'd like. Which is why we're going to go to Philadelphia Museum of Art next weekend, um, March 7th. And that's the first Sunday of the month. Wow, I can't believe that it's March already. Time flies, right? We also got to see the Rocky statue, which is located at the bottom right of the Rocky steps. And fun fact, if you can recall, the statue was first seen in the movie Rocky 3. Of course, there's Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then there's the sixth installment, which is Rocky Balboa. There's also the spin-off, which is Creed. Well, actually Creed and Creed 2. And now we're off to our next stop. Now we're heading to that building over there and that's the city hall so one of the things i noticed about philadelphia are the buildings the architecture and it will leave you in awe it's just pretty amazing and that's one of the things i fell in love with this city and fun fact philadelphia city hall is the largest municipal building in the united states I wanted to go inside but I didn't get enough information on how to go inside the city hall. But you know, looking at the structure outside, it was already an incredible experience for us. The building is an architectural treasure. Plus, you can't ignore the statue on top of the building. And that's actually the statue of William Penn. And I wonder if that's how Pennsylvania got its name. Hmm. Which is why we need to do the guided walking tour real soon. Hey, if you're getting value from this video, consider subscribing and make sure you click the bell to be notified whenever I would post a new content. Have a great day.
<laughs> you too, thanks. <laughs> we ordered from Shake Shack and I got the usual shroom burger. I miss this so much. Cheers. Mmm, so good. All right, so that's it for our tour today. And tomorrow, we're actually gonna visit the Academy of Natural Sciences and because the ticket that I purchased is good for tomorrow. All right, we'll see ya. And we just got home and I can't believe we walked all the way out there. And I gotta sit. Oh, my legs are killing me. So tomorrow we're gonna go to the museum and then we're supposed to go to Independence Hall and Liberty Bell today, but then they close at five and it's already past five. See you tomorrow. So we're now heading to Independence Hall where history was made and it's one of the top attractions here in Philadelphia and it's raining, it's cold out. You know, I'm always fascinated by historical monuments and buildings. I love learning about them and there's always that sense of wow factor, you know? So we found a parking garage it's right below the Independence National Historic Park Visitor Center. And parking fee starts at $4. And of course, that depends on how long you're staying. There's a coffee shop, baby. Did you bring the, our parking ticket? You're supposed to bring it. I also recommend that you start your tour at the visitor center because you can get maps and brochures here as well as information about the park. Or you can also download the mobile app audio tour. No tickets are required, but then it's a first come, first serve basis. Um, and also only nine people are allowed to go inside. And you also have to go through a screening, which is located on Chestnut Street, adjacent to the old city hall. And here's a pro tip. I suggest that you bring a small bag if you can, because uh, it reduces your screening time, right? So just a friendly reminder. And here are a few safety tips. Inside, you can learn and read about the history of the Liberty Bell's famous crack. And you are also free to take videos and pictures inside. There's a temporary exhibit happening right now about women's suffrage, which is available until March 2021. Walk to the line. That looks like that. Now, let me give you a little bit of history about the Liberty Bell. The bell was used to be at the top or the tower of the Pennsylvania State House, as we all know now as Independence Hall. Liberty Bell was once called the State House Bell or Old State House Bell, and the bell continues to be a symbol of American freedom. That's why it's highly recommended that you bring a small bag because you're gonna go through security checks. So we're outside Independence Hall and there's a 12.45 tour. That's the next tour and it's 12.30 right now. So we're gonna wait for 15 minutes outside, but it's all good. I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Are you excited? We are super excited. I really like about Independence Hall is its originality. We're visiting the Independence Hall. This is also where the old city hall is located, which is closed right now, most likely because of the pandemic. It's also where Congress Hall is. Now, two groups of 10 are allowed to go in at a time. Yep, just take your time. Uh, go through the arch to the courtroom on the left and enjoy. So the first 10, when you enter the building, you will be guided to go inside the Pennsylvania Supreme Court chamber. So you'll hear and learn about the history of this particular room. In the 18th century, when they told you... Afterwards, you will be guided to go across the other room, and that's the assembly room. And of course, where America was born. It's where the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution were both signed. Fun fact! Both of the original documents are now located inside the National Archives Museum in Washington, D.C. And of course, we got to see them when we went to D.C. Also, photography is not allowed inside because historical documents are fragile and can fade when exposed to light. 
I've always wanted to visit Independence Hall and I can't believe I'm here. That's it for the tour. So, where do we go now? This uh, Congress. We go to, through um, security again. Okay. Just block off now. And we did a true or false game before our tour. Second true or false statement. Philadelphia was the largest city in the States at that time. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Watch your step and then step to the right once you get inside. A little bit more elaborate in design than the house here. Congress Hall was the first meeting place for the United States Congress while Washington, D.C. was being built. I guess we're going to call it a day because it's raining. I mean, we'll have plenty of time to go around the city anyway. So we'll probably go back tomorrow. All right, see ya. We went back a week after, and here's what I learned from our last visit. So did you know that Philadelphia was once the capital of the United States? Yep. So that was for 10 years between 1790 to 1800. Yes, and that was the time when Washington DC was being built. Actually, I almost forgot it. We still have a tour, the Academy of Natural Sciences. So we're gonna go over there. It's at 3 p.m. But right now, we're gonna get something to eat. And we'll continue our tour on the next video. We'll check out more places to explore here in Philly. So stay tuned for part two of Things to Do in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Of course, we're also gonna go to where locals get their Philly cheesesteak here. Of course, we're here in Philadelphia. When you're in Philadelphia, you have to try the Philly cheesesteak. See you soon! And once again, consider subscribing and make sure you hit the bell to be notified whenever I would post a new content. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and that's at Angel's Video Diary. Or subscribe to my blog, that's MyPurplePages.com. And I also promise that I'm gonna greet someone here. So I just wanna say hello to Mark. Yes. Hello, Mark. Thank you so much for always supporting my channel. And also to everyone here, you know who you are. So thank you so much. And I love y'all. <laughs> All right. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, continue to spread positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. We ended up getting the turkey leg. Look at the size of this moose.